you are like me, you might love the sound of a V8 engine, the sharp edges of a sports car. You might also bet your friend that your car is faster than his. But did you know that every year, more than 350,000 people die on the roads due to overspeeding? Personally, I find that the traditional system in place is ineffective at limiting speeding cars. And that's because of two main reasons. First, they aren't always accurate, and many times you might get out with no ticket. Or even if you do, you might slow down for the next week, the next month, but not forever. Secondly, the simple fact of having a fixed speed limit is illogic. The speed limit should vary depending on many factors, especially weather. That's why today I'm going to introduce you to the Smart Home Project. So, how does the system work? The system is made out of 12 coils, 6 for each lane, 5 before the bump and 1 after the bump. The coils are connected to 12 culprits oscillators that will generate a sinusoidal signal with a varying frequency depending on the inductance of the coils. When a car passes over the coil, it will change its inductance, thus changing the frequency of the signal. You might wonder why we will need 5 coils before the bump. That's very simple. We want our system to predict the speed of the car at the bump. This is achieved as follows. The first two coils will find the initial speed of the car. The third coil will be used to find the speed between coils 2 and 3. Using this speed and the previous one, we can find the acceleration of the car. Solving the system will find the predicted speed at the bump. The last two coils are used to update the prediction in case the driver decided to slow down. We will need a very precise and high resolution analog to digital conversion unit. Here comes the role of the Arduino Uno. We will use its timer interrupt to read the frequency of the signal. But since each Arduino can only read from one coil, we will use a multiplexer instead of using 6 Arduinos per lane. The Arduino Uno will then communicate with the central Arduino Mega using only one bit. This bit will be initially set to low and toggle between high and low every time a coil detects a car. The central Arduino Mega is also responsible of setting the speed limit. This is achieved by measuring the amount of rain, whether it's light rain, medium rain or heavy rain, as well as measuring the temperature to predict the formation of ice on the road. Moreover, it will also read the light intensity to predict how much time is needed for the road to dry. Finally, the set speed limit will be displayed on the 7 segment display. Now, let's move on to the demonstration. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. And if you are interested in replicating the project by yourself at home, you can find the 3D models, the Arduino codes and the circuitry in the description below. And if you have any suggestion, leave it in the comment section below. See you next time.